Incoming South Alabama President Joe Bonner says he has some work to do to win over some naysayers. As we reported last month, some students have started a petition drive to remove Bonner even before he officially takes over. Today, he was formally introduced at the Board of Trustees meeting. NBC 15's Kim McGrath was there. Ken, there was something that was glaringly missing today. Uh, Kim, that's right. None of those people who have criticized Bonner's selection showed up to protest. Joe Bonner's contract at USA will be for five years. No salary details yet, as Bonner tells me he's still negotiating some final points. Bonner says he has a lot of work ahead of him. I want to, we, we want to focus on student retention. We've got too many students that come and don't finish and graduate. So that creates debt without reward of the benefit of a college degree. Bonner says one of his top priorities is increasing student enrollment. We want to grow our enrollment. Uh, we've had as many as 16,000 students. We're down from that a little bit. Uh, that part of that's the times. Other universities are facing that challenge. The new president is walking into a situation where not every student is happy about his appointment. An online petition is critical of Bonner's voting record in Congress. It garnered more than over 1,600 signatures. The Change.org petition cites Bonner's record of voting against same-sex marriage and LGBTQ issues while representing South Alabama in Congress, as well as his stand on women's and civil rights issues. You know, there's students that have issues with your voting record in Congress. That's no secret to you. Sure. Uh, what is your message to the students that weren't able to hear you in, in here? Well, I, I, I apologize if I didn't express that more clearly. It's to meet me halfway, to give me a chance. I don't think you should ever judge a public official just by their voting record. You should look at the totality. Bonner tells me he has a diversity and inclusion plan. He wants to build relationships with students and faculty. He says he intends to listen and learn. Now Bonner will officially start in January and will be the university's fourth president. Greg.